at the Scripps Research Institute, we're very passionate about doing first-in-class research to make novel drugs, and so a lot of neurodegenerative diseases are based on protein misfolding and misassembly, and we're trying to understand the details of that process so we can fashion small molecules to um, slow it down or stop it and therefore stop the progression of the neurodegenerative disorder. The scientific and medical communities have been pretty pessimistic regarding whether protein aggregation is the driver for neurodegenerative diseases, despite really strong genetic evidence. So what we've done here, which is really important, is to show that using a drug, we can stop aggregation and therefore stop or slow the progression of a neurodegenerative disease. So the notion of using small molecules to stabilize proteins that are problematic because they're unstable and they aggregate or they're unstable and they get degraded, that notion originated with some of Jeff's work in the mid-90s. I came along around 1999-2000 and uh, developed a small molecule that I thought would bind to transthyretin, uh, which later became known as tafamidus. It was based on a structure that I knew from my work in graduate school would be easy to synthesize. We did the basic testing and it turned out to look promising and it got developed from there. We came up with the concept that if you could stabilize transthyretin by a small molecule, then it would stabilize the protein in a shape that won't allow it to aggregate. We had to make a lot of small molecules in order to find the special one. After making a thousand or so, we came up with the drug that we now call Tafamidus, which is a potent and safe um, small molecule stabilizer of transthyretin and thus prevents the degenerative diseases associated with its aggregation. Well, until the development of the famidus, there were no drugs. The therapy involved was liver transplant in people who had mutations, which was a pretty aggressive form of gene therapy. Now, uh, I think it's possible for people to take an oral medicine that appears to arrest the progression of the disease if administered early enough in the course of the disease. I'm working on the way tafamidus, which is a small molecule that binds transthyretin. I'm working on similar lines to find some new small molecules that can bind to light chain. If we are potentially successful, then that will be a new drug for a number of people who get affected by this protein as they grow older. This is a major discovery because of the number of people that could benefit from it. It's not only the people in the transthyretin amyloidoses, there's also uh, people with other kinds of diseases that can be addressed in a similar way. The potential impact of this drug, the number of lives that it could impact, could be uh, up to a million, uh, we don't know. For me personally, being part of uh, Scripps research, it is very exciting because we are hunting for, for you know, novel therapies that uh, might one day impact people who suffer from a range of diseases. While we're incredibly enthusiastic about the drug we created, the limitation is that it only works for ameliorating the transthyretin amyloid diseases. There are 40 other proteins whose aggregation causes different neurodegenerative disorders. So what we're doing now is to fashion drugs that hasten disassembly and clearance of aggregates so as to be generally useful for most, if not all, neurodegenerative diseases.